Good morning from the farm. Hey, we're working. Hey, Mum. All right, Ruth. How are we doing? Good. Do you know, I don't. I didn't even know I was going to be filmed. I haven't done my air or anything <laughs> this morning. It's a terrible, terrible thing. It's testament to how don't, long it's don't been. Don't hold it against me. <laughs> it's testament to how long it's been because you said, what, are we filming this? I said, we always film it. <laughs> We've never not filmed It just filmed shows one. how bonkers I'm getting. <laughs> it just shows how bonkers I am getting. That's what it <laughs> Oh, dear. And I've Sorry. put you in the sun because I set the cameras up a little while ago. And, it, know, was, and it was one it of those was lovely really autum autumnal mornings, the mist. Yeah. And we had the rain, so it was just fabulous, wasn't it? Yeah. And um, so it was very, very misty. And now it's beautiful and the sun is so lovely. I did like the rain, but it's really nice to have old Mr. Sun back. Absolutely. I mean, we do but need more rain. But it sat you right in the sunshine. So yeah, I be... will burn. Uh-oh. You got your sun cream on? Yeah, no. No. Sorry, not yet. So, obviously, I think, first of all, why on earth are we sat in a field? That'd be a good... Um, good um, so people about. could see how brown and dry it all is and <laughs> arid. We usually look at fields of green, not fields that are brown. Yeah, grassland, you'd imagine. <laughs> nice, lush green fields, but... It's been a um, very dry period. and Yeah. So everything is it's really brown. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's just brown and dry and great big cracks everywhere. And um, but but we did have some rain. Well, our first rain for a while. Had, someone said to me that he hadn't had any rain on his farm since July the fourth. Not a single drop. Not a little bit. Because we did have a few little sprinkles. A couple of yeah. last week. A little bit in the night. Hardly yep. enough to wet the concrete, but we did have a couple <laughs> of little sessions. No. And then yesterday, it sort of started raining. We thought, oh, no, it's going to stop. But it did keep going until sort of lunchtime-ish. Yeah. So it was a really nice seep. There we go. I don't know if that is in the dictionary, but that means instead of coming up or coming down in stair rods, it just sort of tiggles along nice and gently and you know, is able, a little bit is able to go into the ground. So right. my animals were in a state of shock, really. And instead of them all poked under the edges, trying to avoid all the, you know, they were out in the field and actually it looked a bit yeah. miserable, some of them. <laughs> oh, they didn't like it. They were enjoying the warm. <laughs> so, oh dear. But um, it's very, very pleasing. Very, mm. very pleasing. Because no one can plough the ground. No oh. one can do anything much. The Arab boys are enough. going. So they got these blooming great big machines and massive ploughs and they can hardly get them in the ground. Wow. So they're in a right old tizzy. That's not your not problem happy. though. That's not, not my problem. You're not, not an arable person. Not my problem. Well, it will be when I don't get any grain next year. Or, oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so okay. We would like them to, but it will come. It always does. It's just they've got to be patient, mm -hmm. which is not... You know, it's not easy. They want to crack on and get on and do. But um, it's been a rare old season, hasn't it? It has, yeah. It's been So many fires. It's been quite scary as well. Because mm -hmm. I had a load of straw in on Tuesday or Wednesday last this week, I, I should say. And um, it's like, oh, my goodness, that must be so bad when you've got these crops and... You've got balers going in and, you know, like flinty ground or like the combines, you know, and oh, wow. the things setting on fire. It's so bad. Even around our little area, there's been several balers and a combine. They literally he's got a little alarm on his combine and he quickly. I mean, it's not a thing that you can move quickly either, is it? <laughs> or to get out of the field quick. But he literally got it out of the field. Yeah. And uh, but the field all went up. So Oh yeah, wow. It's really dangerous, isn't it? So it's been very scary. Yeah. Very, very scary. And people topping and then having little mini fires behind and all that sort of business. It's like don't even bother. Wow. Just uh, yeah, so it's been absolutely horrific for people. 
yeah. and scary. So I think some people went out combining about half four in the morning and then finished about ten. Oh, ten so in it's... the morning. So it was better. It was a little bit more moisture and but literally it's, That's quite the commitment yeah. from those people. Yeah, it's 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 not been easy. It's been very bad for people. Very bad. Yeah. And the crops and things were a bit shriveled and not as good, so anyhow. Yeah. We're all here. We're all uh it's dry and we will get the rain when it's you know <laughs> when <Yeah>. it's ready. <laughs> Absolutely. And then it won't stop and then we'll all be moaning come Christmas because mm -hmm. there's too much rain. But the me the press and uh, media are enough to frighten anyone to death when you look at all the pictures and stories, aren't they, you know? But uh yeah, it has been very dry and it has been very scary for people and Well, including you. Yeah, including us. Yeah. yeah. Well, There's, obviously yeah. we're not I suppose uh, I can breach the topic, but for those that don't know, w there was a, a very large yeah, fire we, here. We had a fire here. It's absolutely, absolutely. On the 1st of July, it was a really, and it was in the afternoon, and it was one of those searing hot days. So it was yeah. really, yeah, really, really hot. Not br And then it was wi windy. The wind picked up and flicked round. And I walked out of the house and took, I got my new dog, um, Stan, <laughs> yeah. took him out to wear he's him out because he's such a devil. And <laughs> I literally walked down the drive and I walked across the fields with him to give him a run. And when I came back, I suppose 20 minutes, when I came back, all I could see was the front of my barn, the apex. It was like flames, literally, as, oh, it was just, oh my God, I absolutely, I was sort of um, paralyzed. I couldn't run, I tried to run, the dog was pulling me, and it's like, oh my God, and I'd got my pigs in there, my, all my girls in there, my, my piglets, we just had them, the boys cut, and um they were all in there and i'd got three of my lambs in there and it was like it was like your worst nightmare yeah. running across the field and jay was running the other way and it's like get the pigs out get the pigs out i won't scream but i was screaming my head off i think the village could hear me get my girls out get my girls out oh my god no 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 and i'd got three of my baby lambs in there they were gonna well just about to go out into the field and literally, when I got got over to the thing, the flames, the fire was licking out the end, ends of the barn and I couldn't get anywhere near my animals. And I have been in bits ever since. I didn't want to do anything. No, no podcast. Yeah. No, well, no, I nothing. Did, I so didn't... I, I'm, I'm, I'm in a state, I'm still mourning, I think. Yeah. I'm feeling better, but I've been in a terrible state. Yeah. Not well, I didn't. I didn't yeah. particularly want to bring no, that no, all no. up for no, you. No, no, no. I would no, just no. want more wanted to. There's a few reasons yeah. why we're out in the field. Yeah. And that's one of them. Yeah. Um, we, I will be making a video yeah, about it, and a, we will Bruce's go through it, but, but we're not necessarily. I haven't felt like you know talking about things because it's just such a. It's just so sad. No, it's been a, it's been a, a very difficult couple of months for us, basically. Yeah. But, you An know, update on that that I yeah. can we can say is that the barn there was some worry with insurance. Yeah, and, well, and just insurance well, being just, insurance. Well, just just um, sorting it all out. And now yeah. my my worry now is that um, we've got to you know we've got to I've got to house the animals. We we lost about three or four. We've still got the bay. The ba cows can still come in over the winter, but there's um, about four bays, five bays that have got to be roofed and done. Yeah. So there's loads and loads of work yeah. and jobs to do, but you know, it's not the stuffing out of me. But I'm, I'm feeling better every day. I'm well, you're looking, stronger. Yeah, you're looking yeah, I'm feeling much stronger. Better. A bit I mean, more positive. It's just um, the shock and everything. Isn't it? Oh, well, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So. And you've got um, some straw on the way. And we got some straw coming. And because uh, obviously got another some, thing about that yeah. was you lost a lot of your yeah all my straw and stuff. That was the worst. Well, it wasn't the worst. It was the the loss of my girls and I'll never get over that but um yeah nothing I've got nothing so 
I should be, you know, the whole of the winter, I should be going backwards and forwards with trailers of straw and hay. But you get on and that's it, the cows, cows will come in in the winter and we'll hopefully get it, you know, get things going. But every, it's just very difficult at the minute getting purchasing stuff, wood, and right. then we got to get some fibre cement sheets. And then um, we've just had, they've just done a structural survey and they've said we need to get um, metal, some roof trusses, four, four or five of those, and it's just getting it all together, isn't it? Right. And not easy. And then you think, oh my God, it will be September next week or I know, well, it's run away from us, it's, hasn't it? It's, it's the, the year is going really quickly. Yeah. It's like 90 mile an hour now, so it's like, oh my goodness, where am I going to put this? What am I going to do? What are the implications of all this? Yeah. Perhaps, you know, I have to slim things down a bit, but I'm not very good at that, as you know, so. But, um. We can do it. Yeah, that's it, we crack on. I've got a great family behind me and we all rally round and that's it. And I've you had, had amazing oh, support from the so village. So many people and so many lovely messages and I want to say thank you to everyone for those. Yeah, and it's then um, a lot. if you weren't part of our, or if you're not part of our newsletter um, subscriber crew, um, then you won't have known about the barn, but those that were yeah. did. And you sent so many nice photos oh, and messages. It's it was really, really nice. Really it was lovely. really kind. Yeah. It, um, yeah, we pick, picking ourselves up and dusting ourselves down to a certain extent. And yeah. Going for it again. <laughs> but uh, we're getting ready for Buck's show now, everybody. That's it. This is it. So we're cooking for England. And luckily I've got some help, help, um, go on the site help X and we've got a lovely Brazilian couple and thank God she likes cooking <laughs> so, um, there's some context for everyone that we don't I don't know yeah. if we've talked about but you yeah shows. You, you have um, you're on a website and you yeah. get some help experience yeah, so people. we have some really nice people I don't want in to exchange go for I'm not a, cultural yeah, yeah so they come so, and learn the language so I say to um, like I said Brazil comes to Nash basically <laughs> I um you had I beans. have no what great big you? hankerings to travel. I would like to go to New Zealand and Australia, possibly, you know. Well there's lots I, of friends for you out there. Yeah, I'm so sure I'd love a to go out and see a few people and go and meet some people. But um Brazil comes to me. How lovely is that? That's yeah. what I love and we love as a family. And Dad love, likes it because we find out what it's like to live in Rio de Janeiro and <laughs> it sounds crazy. Crazy, crazy, but it's lovely. Yeah. You get to meet the people, which I love. And you had, what did you have for supper the other day? Oh, we had black beans and rice. Wow. Which is what every Brazilian has for their lunch every day. Meat and beans, these black beans, or sometimes white beans, or these other colour beans, and rice. Wow. That is the staple. And barbecues, mm, big, mm, you know, they love barbecues. So it's lovely. Oh, they shouldn't have one here. Or my childhood memories of Dad's barbecues oh God, are yeah. burning. Burning. He will. Ha or, I, I hope he doesn't listen to that because yeah. he won't like me for saying that. Oh, my father used to call it. Oh yes, we're having sacrifices. <laughs> it's like what? Uh, not a big fan. Not a big fan. Well, it just there was sort of a layer of of, of charcoal on the meat. It but seems when, such a shame because um, it was delicious meat. So. Yeah. Most of it goes in the oven before it goes on the barbecue, but don't tell anyone, okay? <laughs> it just is lightly, lightly charred. <laughs> oh dear, we got a a gas barbecue, which is cheating, I think. Oh, that is cheating. Um, although it's not, because it's objectively better. Probably. And um, I mean, I then saw the real. I was a believer in a barbecue after that. So this summer, just fantastic. It does actually taste way better. I think the charcoal ones—they're too advanced for. For your amateur. Can't we just, we just put a few logs on ours. <laughs> we just put a few yeah, logs Yeah, but it on. gets too hot and then doesn't cook. I yeah, don't know. you have got to judge it right. I think it's, I think it's Actually, a tricky to business. Tell you the, to tell you the truth, I've had about two barbecues. Two barbecues. Just too much faff. Yeah. And then you sit outside, you've got little flies and... <laughs> But yeah. I'm getting old now, I'm boring, so that's it. So back to Buck's show. Yes, you, Buck's show. You're, um, well, what are you doing at Buck's show? Um, my husband has a nice stand at the show, mm -hmm. and we spend the whole week before getting it all ready, mowing yeah. grass and setting up all the equipment at that show, 
and then we all five o'clock on Thursday morning next Thursday morning yeah. we take all the cakes and all the refreshments <laughs> and we go and we say thank you to all the customers and all the people that support dad's business and our business yeah so and we have a lovely time and you see people that are in the next village or you haven't seen since college days or someone will tap you and say you remember me it's like oh my goodness so it's a lot of talking uh, a lot oh you a hate lot that of talking you and then sometimes I, I shouldn't tell you this but sometimes you have to think you think oh my god and you have to go and hide ah. sometimes <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's Find lovely. Find a corner. Yeah, it's nice. It's oh, really that's, nice. That's a really nice it's description. It's nice for Dad, although I think, you know. So we haven't done it for a couple of years, have we? No, well, COVID. Yeah, COVID, so. What's um, funny is, well, we filmed Buck Show, so you can go and watch video. That was yeah. uh, August, September episode, I believe. Yeah. Um, two, three, four years ago it's, when we released that video. It's lovely, the county show. But what was so funny was Josh, He's got he's got quite a lot of experience working in events. And it's a huge thing that they yeah. put together. I mean, Dad's one stall. Dad oh, yeah. puts a lot of effort into the stall. It looks fantastic. But there's hundreds of other stalls going up and all these farmers who bring their livestock. Yeah, they, we've and got the livestock. And there's it's horses lovely where, yeah. and hounds. and Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, really And nice. Josh could not believe this one day. Yeah. And it's on a Thursday. He was, he was just... He just could not get... Because anywhere else, that should be a Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It, you know, everyone spent all that time setting it all yeah. up. Yeah. It was so funny because he completely changed my perspective on it as well. I thought, it is absolute madness. All this infrastructure that they put together for, for one day. <laughs> and it's a Thursday. It's not even a weekend. Yeah. Um, but it's it, a, well, yeah. hey. I mean, it's quite <laughs> like most... Most shows Several are like that. Several years ago, it was really bad because all the kids went back on that day and it seemed so mean because you, uh, you want the children to come. You want them to see all the, the livestock and the, the sheep and the, the cattle in the cattle lines. And, yeah. And we got the, the sheep show, you know, the guy with the lorry with all his Yeah, that's really fun. That is so, Susie Suffolk and Harry Hampshire. <laughs> I mean, it's just magic. It really is. I mean, this year, unfortunately, because the ground is so hard, they won't be having the horse jumping. But oh, um, right, yeah. they would, they're showing the, you know, um, sponge shampooing and setting them and making them look pretty, those sort of classes, but not the jumping. Right. Because it's so hard, Rue, and it's the... It's bad it's, Yeah, so bad, but um, we're really looking forward to it. But, yeah, that'd um, be lovely. So hopefully we'll see a nice, nice lot of people and it will be yeah. a bit of fun. So that'll be nice. And it's not, it's just a nice way to see people that you don't see. Yeah. You know? You know, because life is just like, you know, you're on one of those little hamster wheels sometimes. You think, this is crazy. You know, <laughs> but that is the one day, you cut, you know, you get to see people. And even I see this lovely lady that comes all the way from Cornwall. And she used to live around here. Oh, wow. And so every time we sit and we have a cup of tea and she is such a dear person. So those are the sort of people that I love to see. And yeah. it's a catch-up time. Yeah, so it's really nice. Oh, that is lovely. And, you know, even, you know, people like the dairymen they get their milking done early then they go to the show and then they're going home about two o'clock so they can go and start again but yeah everybody tries to to go and support and yeah it's, it's a nice thing and um, oh that's really yeah lovely. i like it and you make essentially uh thousands of biscuits we make um i got about 20 fruit cakes in the freezer <laughs> Um, rice crispy cakes um, oh god what else we we do about 10 sponges I'm going to do a couple of carrot cakes uh, we do a whole that's a new one though You've mishmash not... yeah right. well carrot cakes in isn't it so carrot cakes in isn't yeah, it yeah okay. carrot cakes in so <laughs> doing a little bit of that and mince pies I make mince pies and they oh, go oh yeah so in, in the heat of summer yes so that's, that's what quite. I do on bank holiday Monday <laughs> <laughs> and so I do about eight, ten dozen mince pies. Very nice. And um, I mean, yeah. I love mince pies, but and it's I, could, lovely I would and happily and do happily eat them all year round. It's just lovely meeting everybody, and mm -hmm. um, it's just a real nice, nice thing to do. Yeah. And you, it is a lot of work for one day, as you say, Ruth. But it's 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 a nice. Well, Sean and I nice. also offered. So, Mum, you have a you have a total, um, like list of 
different yeah. cookies and yep. biscuits. biscuits. You say fruit cake, mince pies. There's uh, cow pack cookies That's you it, make, cow pats. which is a melting moments. Favorite. If anybody melting knows moments, what melting moments are, shortbread, flapjack, Mars bar. You got <laughs> loads of different ones. And Sean um, and I, we offered to just make maybe take the weight off of Mum and make even the melting yeah, no. moments, which no. from Mum's words are the easier ones to make. <laughs> Yeah. And you refused flat out. You said, no, yeah. we've not proven ourselves yet. No, so no, there's, you've got to. Mum's a, a master of delegation. <laughs> no, a control freak. <laughs> a control freak, okay? <laughs> I like what I like. You've got, yeah, you've got to pass a few tests. <laughs> yeah, well, I have had a carrot cake. Yeah. You have made a carrot cake and, and you do really nice noodles, but I'm not sure about your melting moments. If you've go. got, If you've got the commitment... <laughs> Because if you do a job, that cherry has got to be just right. And those oats, if you've got not got enough oats, right, so you can see what I'm like. I'm very there we go. fussy. So um, are we going to be able to share? Are we going to be able to share a melting moments recipe? Is that one a secret one? Well, I suppose, yeah, yeah. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, you perhaps, can have a, perhaps we'll I'll put that out in the next newsletter. <laughs> The Melting Moments they're recipe. They're very nice if you're not and they a subscriber, freeze. Yeah, they're, it, they, they freeze very well as well. And if you don't like cherries, we just put chocolate bits on the top. Yeah, I don't like... Um, I like cherries, but not the grassy ones. Oh, God. Fussy git. Yeah, well, the sugary thing. The oh, sugary yeah. things. Lots of people like I don't. I actually things. don't know what the... What are they? Are they just highly sweetened or something? Yeah, they're glacé. They're, they're... Yeah, sugary. Sugar. Yeah, yeah sugar. gross. Yeah, not for me. Nice. Not nice, for me. Nice. Um, the last, or one of the last things that we put out mm -hmm. outside of um, the newsletters yeah. is a video about me fainting. Oh, God, Rue, that was terrible. <laughs> well, it was quite, it wasn't funny because you edit the concrete. So <laughs> it wasn't really that funny, but it was like, oh, I just had visions the last time you'd done it in Marks and Sparks in Milton Keynes, Here it all comes which is out the best now. place to fart, faint. <laughs> fart. It, farts, don't fart and faint. But yeah, you fainted there and all those girls were coming out of the food department and trying to, you're getting fizzy drinks, weren't you? And oh, all it was, those, it was yeah. actually, yeah, if you're going to faint, go to that Marks That is a good place to faint. Yeah, if you're really feeling is. a bit faint and there's one nearby, so you run on in there. chairs and we had half amazing. the staff. Half the staff, It was yeah. so lovely, Let they? me have, you, I was, look. well, I must have been 12, was, was I? Was it 12 or 13? And... We were neglected children, really. Obviously, yes. <laughs> no, obviously we had lots. We had was, a very lush upbringing. But when it came to fizzy holidays, drinks, yeah. when it came to fizzy drinks and like sugary things, we were quite strictly monitored. And yes. but that moment, it was like all these Marks and Spencers ladies were like, "Which drink do you want?" And I'm looking at that <laughs> freezer. So like, this is the best moment ever. I they were so yeah. lovely, weren't they? And God. then I sat outside Marks and Spencers with the most random circumstance ever with Grandpa. Yeah, that's it. And we sat on the uh, on this marble or this this that's sort it, of uh, stone stone yeah thing that you sit on. And the same shop, Marks and Spencers. I think a homeless man because he he didn't look too well. He came running out with a frozen chicken. Oh no! He was running across oh, no. the thing, and there were two security guards running after him oh, no. with the chicken. And oh. I, I remember vividly thinking, "You and Dad." I wish Grandpa was still here that I could talk to him about that, whether he would remember it. Because I just thought, "What's he doing with that chicken?" Even at twelve, I thought, that "You got to cook that." How's he? <laughs> I don't know. It was so weird. He's going to get the barbecue out because he could have picked anything. Yeah, you'd go for a cook one, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. Or oh, maybe God, that. that was my youth. Maybe he did get one of those pre-cooked ones. What? I don't know. Anyway. That's random, isn't it? But yeah, that was round. But you just brought it back with that fainting story. But yeah, well, my he head hit the concrete. I was trying to help. Did quite well. Lots of positive people in the you, comments saying You that, did so well because you'd done the most gruelling part. Have you ever fainted doing... No. Mm. Never. Because a lot of people have sort of commented saying that they, they have been in the situation where they feel um, a little bit... Uh, yeah. Yeah, a bit, bit woozy. And a few people saying I've been in that situation and, that's, and, and never that's forgotten what, it. That's what Jonathan said to you. When yeah. you start feeling like that, you got to put your head between your legs. Yeah, you? it's stupid. Basically I did the opposite. I don't know where I got that from, but I am illogical at my, in moments of my life. Because I And that was a totally illogical one. Because so I, I thought you... I got to stand up taller. That's uh, Genuinely, I thought I was helping myself by being all stood up. No. Which was so stupid. Just sit down. Get, get low. Sit, sit <laughs> yeah. down. I'm going to have to be really He actually care. said the, 
the the bigger um, you're more likely to hurt yourself with the fall than the yeah that's how you hurt yourself fainting that's what he said yeah so <laughs> whoops <laughs> Oh, we've got a lovely, um, lovely setting behind. Actually, it's quite nice yeah, in the, the field. The, the calves are in big trouble because they're right down the field, and then mother behind you. Yes, behind me. Uh -huh. And um, they've obviously said we're not walking all the way over there because she doesn't give us any food. So <laughs> they, they're that down there. And the mums are back here, and um, everything's having a little bit of food. They're, they're having some silage, right? Because they're all a bit, bit peckish. So it's because the, it's the grass, yeah, is that one of the problems? No, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. There's no grass, yeah. much. So, but I am so thankful because this year I could have cut, you know, early on in the season, I sort of located the ones that I was going to cut and I thought I probably ought to do another one, but I, I'm so glad I didn't. So we've got quite a lot, like in some of our fields, we've got quite a lot of, you know, it is long, but we've got, you know, we oh, have plenty right. of grass and stuff and there is a lot of rough grass then. So you didn't cut? Yeah, so I didn't cut probably quite as much as I should have. But did you I cut, am... did you cut before the fire? Yeah, um, so, yes. So uh, some of the stuff you'd already bailed and stuff was in the... I hadn't put any of the new stuff in the shed. Oh, okay. No. So you didn't so lose your new... I just got all my old straw. I mean, yeah. we got about, we had a, there's about, I don't know, Two or three hundred bales down there, yeah, in that that shed, all at the back there. Because you know what I'm like. I like to have a bit of straw and all this, that, and the other. But anyhow, yeah, we yeah, won't talk yeah. about that. But um, no. I've got all my hay. I've made quite a nice lot of hay, and the hay. I mean, everybody's hay has been absolutely amazing. You know, the early stuff. So yeah, and nature usually provides, as I've told you before, Ru. You know, if it's if you haven't got much fodder, sometimes it. You know the nature sort of provides it okay then the they you don't have to get your cattle in quite as quick and there's perhaps a bit of grass outside you know like yeah. this year there was quite a nice lot of hay and silage made so um it's going to be used yeah and um and it's being used i mean lots of people are feeding their sheep they use are going they're going around their fields and the sheep are having to be fed yeah because nice. there's nothing there's not much here um lots of blocks and licks and things to keep their keep them going and people have weaned their lambs as well a little bit earlier prob probably yeah but uh yeah yeah that's a that's the story and you had i remember um in it was probably june you had a bit of a nightmare with the uh water at one point where the water company had just shut you off yeah they, they turned out <laughs> turned the flip in which isn't actually funny because it no. was very very hot as well yeah. It was probably at that point. I know we've then come through a bit of a heat wave since, but at that point it was a week of consecutive hot days, wasn't it? And then you you were checking like, the field. What are you doing? Why are you why are you turning the? Because we pack, we do it all on a direct debit. Mm. But um, um, yeah, that to come and had to get this. They put out. a padlock on you. Yeah, put a yeah locked it. But all you up. were very unhappy because the 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 man who then from the company obviously he had yeah. to look at the fact that he was just about to shut off a field's yeah. water with livestock in it yeah. but it's just bonkers so we're very cross about that and then we had to get him to come out and and they turned it back on but oh, rubbish absolutely rubbish yeah they know not what they do <laughs> i won't say anymore how how are all the animals generally You've had a lot of sh uh, sheep problems with feet still, yeah, or sheep, your maybe sheep, that's not fair. I don't know. And I lost, but but yeah. you've done a lot of dipping. Oh, every yeah, lots and lots and lots of foot bathing. Yeah. And we need to do it again. We have sort of we had a period of every, um, well, we've done it about three, two or three times a week. Yeah. Through 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 because I've got three drop, dif different groups and so we just kept putting them through and their feet dried up. And um, 
they're, they're a lot better. I haven't done it for about a few weeks, but um, they're going to be they're going to go up to Round Hill and have a swap, total swap. So. And all your um, cows been. Good. Yeah, the cows, the cows, uh, the cows are good, um, and they keep. Yeah, they're they're pretty happy. They're having a bit of grub now. The calves, are, everything's having food now. They're all having a bit of silage, or some of them are on uh, rough hay. Um, the sheep are getting really peed off now. They're just on like blocks and molasses blocks, and they're going to have a change now. And then they really need weaning. But I didn't want to do it because we're getting ready for buck show. So literally, as soon as buck show is done, we're gonna right, right. girls, you can have a rest then. Right. And then they have from September till uh, November. Yeah. Go and have a little rest and lay your legs up and and then we go through them and see, you know, what's got to go and what's got to stay, basically. Right. But um, I should it... have done that. I, I was, I'm in an hour, but it was so hot and it's like, I am not going to get them. The stress of the, the heat, you don't want to be doing anything with them. You want them to just get in the shade and keep keep and you know keep a low profile and let them get on with it basically yeah and then they they sort of graze very late and very early and so i didn't want to do anything like that but we literally perhaps this week we should have done it but i've been picking plums as well jamming and then all sorts of <laughs> other things so bob marley yeah, jamming bob, bob marley and jamming victoria plum delicious but um <laughs> we've been doing <laughs> doing other things but um it's weaning next but we're going to take them up the road so if anyone's near nash on friday afternoon i do apologize but they got to go and have a change or you want to lend a hand down yeah, the road. there's it. always some yeah there's always little nooks and crannies that you can stand in and <laughs> yeah. shoo them out away you've yeah. just reminded me of quite something quite funny that i didn't understand it's um a meme which is uh, oh, an that? internet picture oh, oh or okay. i'm not sure entirely on the definition of a meme but uh it's called tell me you own sheep without telling me you own sheep and i didn't understand it i wondered if you could explain it to me oh, nice. i assume it's like the idea is that instead of saying you own sheep you just have a look at these pictures and you would guess that that person owns sheep oh look at the bruises <laughs> <laughs> have you experienced bruises similar to this not normally <laughs> <laughs> so that Ow. wouldn't work for you. Oh dear! I was really confused by it because I, I was um, this time of the year, or you know, you you perhaps get a. Is that because you're just in a pen with them and they're bunting? Well, they you? do. Yeah, when you're you're messing about with shit, you do get bruised. But I, I, yeah, Dad will say to me, "What the hell are you done there?" I was like, I "Don't have a clue." All oh, right, so that's it's, the idea. It's you don't really. Where did that come from? Sometimes, like um, with the rams. They'll go up behind you and give you a good fork me eight me one. You know, fork me eight me one. Yeah, basically come from what behind and that? give you a fork me eight me one. Plow into you, <laughs> you know, give you a good bunt, and then you could get bruises like that. Fork me eight me one. Mind you, Stan did that to me last week. We went in the field to give him a run. The flaming dog ran straight into the back of my knees. I went down <laughs> like a. It's like what the hell am I not big enough? Can you not see me? <laughs> Dope. He is oh. quite funny. Mum, oh. you rescued a yeah, we Doberman. Rescued. I, I must be mad. Yeah. Yeah. Because Dobermans are, he's a big, it's just his head and his jaw, very he's, he's significant. A Muppet, he really is. But he is so silly, yeah. And he's very <sighs> funny. Uh, but, and he runs, he sort of runs on the floor, doesn't he? But tr can't get any grip, so I mean, he's like Scooby-Doo. We've got a few in the kitchen, it's hilarious. Yeah. So it's like one of those cartoon dogs or cartoon <laughs> yeah. characters where they're trying to get going and they can't get any grip. <laughs> yeah. It really is funny. We might try and get... <laughs> yeah. But he, um, he's lovely, but he is such a donut. He really yeah. is. Yeah, he is a bit of a... He is a bit of a... And I wasn't numpty. impressed with him ploughing into me. It's like, you twit. Yeah, that it is It was funny. stronger than that, though, but... <laughs> um, oh dear. It's, he's funny now because he's decided that he, he rather liked the cows and used to sort of run around and now he will not go in the field oh he doesn't like them they've given him a they've chased him it's like you, you get away from my so I'm going to have oh him. wow yeah so he's being told now yeah he's been you told you were waiting off. for that to happen a yeah. little bit I've just got to sort the sheep thing out why is he he's not very well he's alright with the rams because they stand there and like yeah come on then mister <laughs> But um, 
yeah, he's not very good with sheep, so. Yeah. At the minute. <laughs> oh dear. I bet that's quite... Chickens, actually. The cockerels is okay and the geese are. I am winning in that respect, but... Well, it's quite funny that, yeah, because obviously there's a lot of animals here. And for he was a puppy, really. Well, he still is a little bit. Um, he's only young. Yeah, so he's there's quite a lot for him to get used to here. And to, for, for him to just be a normal member of the... we don't really know why he was, why the... he was in the rescue place. No. Did he bite people or... Cause, um, yeah, these were all questions we'd hope you'd yes. asked uh, before you got him. <laughs> of which I didn't ask one. I was just told that he was a bit too much for them. Yeah, which I, I could I could totally see because, because he's he... not he's not very aggressive really. No. Um, unless you well, he's he looks aggressive though. He's got good bark on him, mm. and no one goes down the yard running down the yard without thinking, oh, yeah, I better stop now. Yeah. Yeah, because there's this sure. great big dog running. Up yeah, towards. absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Which you sometimes need living here, because when you're doing jobs and the gates open and people think, oh, I'll just go down there and. Yeah. Mm. It's the bit of the nature of a farm, a little bit. People. Are yeah. Chance it. Maybe. Yeah. It's not very nice. All right, and then I have a final video to show you, which is really quite silly, but I found it online. I thought it was quite funny. Uh, we got a 68 year old farmer. He was building a fence and started noticing some back pain. Ah, did his wife make him come in? Um, no, he came by himself. He's alone? Yeah, he was worried, so he came right in. Hey, Peggy, wake up. We got a farmer who came in voluntarily. What else did he say? Well, I asked him to rate his pain on a scale from 1 to 10, and he just said, uh, I'm here, ain't I? <laughs> What? Yeah, that's all he said. I, I don't know what that means, though. That's because you're using a pain scale for normal people. You got to use the farmer pain scale. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is he going to be okay? Listen to me carefully. Did he finish the fence? No, he had to stop. Oh, Dear God. God. <laughs> oh, God. He had to stop. That's serious. That really is serious. Something's hanging off. <laughs> I don't know how that guy's got that insight, but that really that was tickled good. me. It That's quite, good. It's a little bit That's like very, that. very, yeah. Even clever. growing up, actually, it's just reminded me of um, I broke or fractured my shin, which was very, very painful. Was that down at youth club? Yeah. Yes. And I came up, and uh, Alan Driver, who's actually incredible. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. Ran the youth club. He's brilliant, and he still is. Um, nice, really nice member of the village. He was running the youth club. He's like, "You'll be all right," and I was like, "I don't think I will be." And then, <laughs> and then Dad picked me up, and and I was like, "I can't get in the car. Like I couldn't move." So oh. then you put me in the back of the pickup, drove me down the road, and then you you were both. Then we were sort of consulting in the house, and you were both like, "You, I think you'll be all right." <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "It's really painful." And then after a while, you went, "Rue doesn't normally make this much fuss." And then you took me to the hospital and they were like, yeah, it's broken. <laughs> and you were like, oh, okay. And then Alan <laughs> Driver felt really bad about it as well. Yeah, because he said, come on, you'll be all right, Red. Get yeah. on, get up. You'll be fine, you'll be fine. Um, well, oh, yeah. And Simeon, he broke something, didn't he? And he's never forgiven me for that. Because he had to go the next day and he had broke it. Oh, dear. Well, you know, who's to know? <laughs> Just sleep on it. Sleep and then see what it's it. like the next day. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, well, Mum, it's been... Oh, it's been lovely speaking to you. Absolute and pleasure talking to you. Yeah, yeah. no. It's... Um, um, what it's I'd like nice. to try and do, um, although I always make these commitments and struggle yeah, with Yeah, we better not say anything. We, That's true. We, you won't see us probably now till Christmas. <laughs> probably. Well, are we now the end of August? Yeah. Well, yeah, um, basically we'll try. September now. Yeah, we'll try. Yeah. I'm going to try and do it once every month. We're going to put it in your calendar. Yeah, we're going to... We'll have a chat and um, show you what's it's going just, on at the farm. Like we were saying, it's just going so fast. and It does, yeah. And you stop for what you think is one moment and then six months have gone by and you go, oh my <gasps> goodness. Cripe, sad did that yeah. happen. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's been an absolute joy. Can I say thank you to everyone that has, you know, wrote in and sent those pic sent pictures and yeah. been so very kind. It's been absolutely lovely and, and so many people and all my neighbours and friends and farmers and people you think oh my goodness acts of kindness yeah 
um, so grateful and just a great big thank you to everyone. Yeah. Lovely letters and words of support, which is real good when you're going through it. Yeah. So I it's bet. lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Great, That's Mum. Lovely. All right. Well, we'll speak to you soon. Uh, yeah. Enjoy the rest of the summer. Mm.